Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class 3 under gate exam of network theorems, we are going to see some other numericals which were asked in previous gate exam. So those numericals are based on terminals, equivalent circuits. We'll start with the first problem which was asked in gate 2017 under set 2 for 2 marks. The terminals voltage VAB across 10 ohms. So this is a uh, question which is having no choices. In fact, if at all you give the right answer, you're going to get two marks. And if at all is the right, uh, wrong answer, you're going to get zero marks. Okay, we'll start with the solution. First, what you're going to do is, we're going to turn figure 1a from figure 1. So figure 1 is here and figure 1a is here. What is the difference? You can see the A and B terminals are removed as it is open circuit voltage. So that is asked across 10 ohms. So here we have assumed node that is VAB. Nothing but that, that, that is a voltage which you are supposed to obtain across 10 ohms. Okay. Now what we'll do from source transformation, figure 1A is changed to figure 1B. So this is figure 1B where you can see 6 amperes parallel to 5 ohms is changed to 30 volts in series with 5 ohms. How this is done? From ohms law, we know that V equal to IR and I is nothing but 6 and resistance is 5. So that is how we get the value as 30 volts. Now applying KCL at node VAB in figure 1B. So you can check our previous videos how to obtain the node voltages uh, for a given particular problem. Anyhow, here we are going to apply KCL at this node and we are going to get VAB plus 10 by 15 that is 5 plus 10 plus VAB by 10 that is this particular branch current plus VAB minus 16 by 10 which is equal to 0 thus satisfying the KCL. Now take out the light terms VAB we have taken up on one side and constants on other side. Here you can see VAB by 15 is nothing but 1 by 15 plus VAB by 10, VAB by 10 repeated two times. So 2 by 10 VAB becomes 1 by 5. On the right hand side, 30 by 15 becomes minus 2. And this minus 16 by 10 on the opposite becomes 16 by 10. Now you take the proper LCM. So here on the left hand side, 15 is the LCM. And this cross multiply will give you the value as minus 4 by 10. Hence, VAB will be equal to minus 1.5 volts. Now that is the right answer. In gate 2005 for 2 marks, again, terminals equivalent pair that is voltage and impedance were asked by looking at to the terminals P and Q. The options given were 2 volts 5 ohms. Again, 2 volts 7.5 ohms, 4 volts 5 ohms, and 4 volts 7.5 ohms. So, if at all we are able to obtain terminal's voltage, we can eliminate two options. Okay. So, for that, what we are going to do? Since voltage in parallel remains the same, 4 volts is across 20 ohms, that is this particular left hand side of the circuit, and it is also present across the series combination of 10 and 10. Why I am saying the series combination? Because it is the unknown network, this I will remove and P and Q becomes the open, ter open terminals. Now 10 will be in series with 10. Once this unknown network is removed, then 10 and 10 becomes series. Okay. For easy understanding, figure 2 is drawn as figure 2A where we have removed the unknown resistance and we are going to estimate here terminal's voltage that is across 10 ohms. So you need to keep in your mind that 4 volts is parallel to 20 ohms, 4 volts is also parallel to 10 plus 10. Okay. From voltage division rule, the formula for terminal's voltage or opposite voltage becomes VTH is equal to 4 that is the total voltage multiplied with the resistance 10 ohms divided by 10 plus 10. So this will give you the value as 40 by 20 which is nothing but 2 volts. Hence option C and D you can easily eliminate. But we are not sure that option B or A is the right answer. For that we need to calculate the 
thermonance impedance or thermonance resistance whose units are in ohms for that we have to short circuit the voltage source of figure 2a then thermonance resistance is obtained as rth for that i have removed the voltage source 4 volts and i have shorted the wire with this red line now we have to calculate the rth once this is shorted 20 ohms will be eliminated in fact you will be having 10 ohms parallel with 10 ohms looking through the terminal pq hence rth will be equal to 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 that is 100 by 20 which will be obtained as 5 ohms so here option a is the right answer next problem is a very interesting problem in figure 3 if the source voltage vs is equal to 100 at an angle 53.13 degrees volts this is the value given in the polar form then thevenin's equivalent voltage in volts as seen by the load resistance rl is this will ask for two marks under gate 2013 a very good problem in fact you get the entire basics of dependent sources from this problem especially voltage dependent voltage source or current dependent voltage source anyhow when we look into the options a b series you can see 100 and 100 option a and d at an angle 90 degrees and 60 degrees are given whereas b and c you have 800 common at an angle 0 degrees and 90 degrees so which is the right option so definitely you cannot guess blindly you need to solve this particular network now since we have to see through the load resistance let us remove it from the given circuit so figure 3 changes to figure 3a by removing the load resistance at this terminal once load resistance is removed this becomes open circuit in fact 5 ohms in series with 6 j ohms they becomes open now this becomes the open circuit now clearly i2 which is given in the problem becomes 0 amperes once i2 is 0 amperes look into the figure 3a once again this j40 multiplied with 0 becomes short why short because current is 0 current multiplied with the impedance value it becomes voltage so voltage short means you have to short circuit this dependent source that is an important catch okay anyhow we have kept in our mind that 5 ohms in series with 6 j ohms they become dummy we are applying kvl to loop 1 in fact 3 a figure changes to 3 b figure like this once the current i2 multiplied with the impedance value uh, 40 j the short wire which we have replaced the uh, current dependent voltage source it becomes like this and we are applying kvl to this loop then what happens whether you apply kvl to figure 3a or 3b for the first loop you are going to get standard value as minus vs plus 3i1 plus j4i1 plus j40i2 equal to 0 by looking into the figure 3 this is the equation frame in fact we removed load resistance then i2 becomes 0 hence i am replacing this i2 with 0 then we are left over with 3 plus j4 i1 is equal to vs this we treat as equation 1 i hope you understood with this step now i1 can be obtained as the source voltage is given in the polar form and the impedance value is in rectangular form i change it to, to the polar form for the convenience then i1 is obtained as 20 amperes okay now these two equations we have framed now the thevenin's voltage which is measured across this dependent voltage source that is vl or the 10 vl that vl is across j4 ohms so this is the important observation what you are supposed to make so vl is nothing but j4 okay multiplied with the current i1 we just we got the value of current i1 as 20 amperes so this becomes 
80 J volts. Hence, we have obtained the value of voltage in rectangular form. Anyhow, we need to calculate VTH. That VTH is equal to 10 BL. In fact, BL is nothing but 80 J. Just substitute the value, or you're going to get the value of terminals voltage as 800 volts J, or in fact, 800 J volts. But this is not in the option. Why it is not in the options? Since we have framed the solution in rectangular form. You can change it to polar form with the help of your calculator or with the normal mathematical calculation, which you are going to get the value as 800 at an angle 90 degrees. That is the voltage, which is option C. So I hope you like this particular uh, class under terminals equivalent circuits. Uh, uh, please comment in the chat box what exactly concepts you need to discuss in our future classes and subscribe to this channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications.